Yo, what's up guys, Jovi back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple beat video for your beats to upload on YouTube or any other social media that you want to upload your beats or uh, promote your music. So I have not prepared uh, for this video, I'm just uh, go, go through how I make my beat videos in After Effects. So After Effects uh, is a program by, uh, it's a software program by Adobe and uh, literally everyone uses this software to make their beat videos so i use this too um i'm going to show you how exactly i make my videos beat videos uh, to upload on youtube so um, first of all uh, let me go to the uh, this is what i have right now this is a beat that I'm going to be using to upload that, that I'm going to promote or upload in YouTube or any other social media and I'm going to show you now I'm going to show you the easiest way so first of all what I'll do is I have I'll have my beat I'll export them with high quality wave file for this I'm going to use a high quality mp3 file but if you want to do you have to render it to uh, the high quality wave file so for uh, faster loading purposes i'm using mp3 because the file size of wave is really high so first what i'll do is i'll go to google and type what uh, usually i'll make type beats so um, let me type g easy for this kind of beat i'll let you listen to this beat um once this this uh this thing is done so um, the beautiful and damned i think uh, this is his uh, latest album uh, i love those albums so i'm going to images and just type this or uh, if you want to do any other artist you can type their name and go to tools go to size larger than 4 mp so what this does is you can uh, get the high quality photos from Google so I have downloaded this image uh, you just look at this image size it's larger than larger than 1080p and I've downloaded this image so this image is uh, the I like those two images uh, and I'll go to view image and this will give me the high quality image as possible and I'll download them I'll right click and save images that's all I've done and this is the other image that I have downloaded so let's close this out so the as you can see it's uh, not that high quality but still it's it will serve the purpose well so let us go to after effects and click on new composition if you don't get this pop-up not not an issue you can go to new and you can create new project and go to composition new composition i'm going to uh, name this as g easy type beat and what i'll usually do is i'll select a preset htv 1080p and 29.97 what does uh, 29.97 is the frame rate uh, frame rate per second and you just have to type how many how long your uh, beat is you can literally change this uh, anytime I'm going to do this for four minutes and leave uh, everything as it is you don't want to mess around with any other settings unless you know what you're doing so uh, our composition is created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all these three into my after effects so once it's done I'm going to just import this the uh, into this channel and as you can see I'll just go to this half and it is less than 3 minutes and 15 seconds so I'll just uh, if you just uh, move your cursor uh, to this point you can see work area end I'll just drag this where the beat ends you can move this zoom this precisely to have a neat and clean ending and I'll just zoom out so now our beat starts and ends our video starts and ends at where our beat starts so what I'm going to do is uh, from these two I'm going to import any one of the image I like this image 
and i'll place this on top of this so we got this if you want to scale this uh, on your keyboard just type s yes. it, it will bring up the scale and i'll reduce this just like that and let's hit save and i'm going to my drive and i'll name this as g e z type b let me save this so uh if you see uh most of the youtubers just uh have a wave spectrum it's called audio spectrum uh you if you have these uh, section uh, in the fx and preset if you don't have these you can go to this window tab and just click on this fx and presets we'll get this what i'm going to do is i'm going to type a new uh, i'm going to make a new solid and name it waves or uh, audio spectrum and leave everything as it is and it it, it is going to give me an black solid audio i am um, a black solid solid i'm going to type spectrum so it will bring bring up audio spectrum i'm going to just drag and drop and place on top of this so as you can see you can get you will get uh this one and as you can see there is no fx and there is no bouncing or popping of the waves that's because we have to map this to our mp3 you can see yeah, there is a column called audio layer initially it will be like this or audio spectrum what you have to do is you have to click on the drop down and select the mp3 or the beat that you have now as you can see we see that the files are that waves are moving now what you have to do is you can change the color and you can mess around with these settings <laughs> what i usually love to do is i love to have this on side b this means uh the b uh the waves will react only to the bottom half if you keep this on a the waves will react on top and the other half if you keep this on a and b they'll react on both sides so uh, i'll keep it on b and i'll, uh, I'll have the end frequency la as 4000 and the start frequency as 50 Mm, mm and then the frequency bands is like the number of waves that you get so as you can see when when i decrease this the number of i'll zoom this and i'll show you what this means as you can see if the number of bands is lesser you'll see the bands are getting reduced uh, if you want uh, this is really a personal preference i like to have it on 1500 this gives a smooth look and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go where my kick really hits harder and i'm going to set the maximum height what maximum height means is um um i'll show you what this means at this point i guess my kick hits really hard Now I'm going to set the maximum height for the frequency for the waves. I'm going to set this as 750. I think uh this is cool. And I'll keep this as 5. And usually I like to keep it uh on white. I like white color so I'd like to keep it on white. You can change uh, these to any of these. I'll zoom and show you what this means. Is, what this means. As you can see here. When I change this from digital to analog lines, the style of the uh, spectrum changed and this is analog dots. Uh, usually I'll leave it in the digital style and that is really cool so that that is pretty much pretty much it so i'll just throw a glow effect on top of it so it gives me a nice glow effect 
I'll turn off the glow and show. So it makes a subtle effect, subtle change. That is really cool. So what I'm, what I'll do is next I'll create a text layer and type G easy type bead. I'll mark this and change the font and I'll reduce the size to 50. Okay, I'll, I'll let, us, let us change the font. I like to keep it on this font. You can download fonts from uh, just a second. If you are uh, searching for good fonts, you can go to Google and type dafont.com. And this is uh, a free font website where you can find fonts for your uh, beads or whatever, for thumbnails or whatever. And they have some really nice fonts, and most of them are free. But the fonts here are, are pretty, I mean, most of them are low quality, so you, you must uh, use it accordingly so what i'm going to do is i'm going mm, i have a really low specification laptop so this is really slow in my computer okay this is cool let me go ahead and save this and i'll select this and i'll reduce the font size to about 37 that looks uh, that is fine and I'll place this on top of this and let me reduce it to 25 and this looks cool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw glow on top of this also and I'm going to add a new text layer and I'll type prod produced or prod jovi underscore underscore beats so that's my social account name I'll just place it here and let me throw glow on top of this also so this is pretty much it guys so this is how i make and if you want you can reduce the intensity of the glow to about five percent if you see uh, if you don't like the glow effect you can remove it at any time i like uh, my text and other stuff to glow so i'm adding the glow effects and if you want to listen to this you can just click on ramp preview so what this will do is it will compile it and it will show you uh, how exactly your video will look uh, after rendering so within a second I i'll show you how to render this into a video let me go ahead and play this for you the first 30 seconds of the beat So as you can see, uh, this audio spectrum is reacting to my beat. Every time the kick hits, you can see the audio waves moving. So uh, this is how they make it guys. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how I render. Uh, once uh, I'm, I'm done with my work, I'll go ahead and just export and add this to render queue. Once it's done, I'm going to make sure everything is on best quality. And resolution full I'll just make sure I, I, you don't want to mess around with any of these settings you know, if you render this if you click on render it will render to AVI if you render this to AVI the file size will be really really large so uh, if you have if you are on a Mac you will have a quick time installed a pre-installed in your computer but if you have Windows uh, I recommend you to install QuickTime uh, if you install QuickTime you can select 
the format as quick time and go to format options and select h264 what this does is it will give you a dot mov file so that you can upload it directly on youtube with a relatively uh, small size video size so i'll click on okay and i'll go to audio settings and make sure it's on 32 stereo on 48000 kilohertz or if you want you can just reduce it to 41000 kilohertz based on how you have rendered it through your daw and if you click on ok you can click on render and it will start rendering as you can see you can uh, get a estimated time remaining uh, for this beat uh, it will usually it will take time see as you can see uh, i have a pretty slow computer and it will take one hour for this three minutes video to render and once it's done i'll upload uh, it directly to youtube so this is how i make it guys uh, if you like this video hit thumbs up and subscribe to more to my channel to view more awesome videos and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss any of the videos so if you have any video suggestion leave that in down below in the comment section and i'll catch you in the next video guys peace